Good morning from San Francisco, California. Well, close to San Fran. I'm a little bit further south on the bay, but an adventure is coming. I'm so excited to get going again. There's so much that happens underneath the surface of, of planning for an adventure. It's not just that idea and then boof, you're there and you're starting. First off, I needed to get my, my bike shipped over from the Czech Republic from Atsub HQ into San Francisco. And I wanted to get it shipped to Facebook because I'm part of this community leadership program. And they said they couldn't receive it because there's no space at Facebook. Uh, so I opened up Facebook and asked you guys on, on my page and I had just an overwhelming response. Thank you so much if you offered up uh, an address to get the bike shipped to. I'm really sorry if I haven't got back to you to say thanks, but I really, really appreciate it. Over 30 people said I could ship the bike to them and I don't know any of these people, so thanks, that just means the world. And it's such a big part of these journeys, that, that connection, just reaching out to strangers and saying, hey, I need a little bit of help, will you, uh, will you help me? And uh, it's, it, was, it was such a nice feeling to remember that that will happen regardless. It's been a couple of years since my last trip and I'd almost forgotten that. So the last few weeks has been a whirlwind, just tidying up loose ends uh, from Yesterville, Say Yes Moore's annual festival, and then slowly kind of getting together all of, the, all of the gear that I need for this trip. That's a really nice process. So I was expecting a brand new spot tracker to arrive with Amazon this morning, and this turned up. It's hair or maybe face cream. Silverizing. I think I'm gonna struggle uploading my GPS points to a map with this. I love stickering up a uh, bike helmet. That makes me feel like an adventure is just around the corner. So I left home, said goodbye to the boat and the Thames. It's an easy journey across London to Heathrow where regular tourists mix with 4,000 scouts who are preparing to leave for a world scout jamboree. Fun fact, I was a pretty amazing beaver, but only lasted one hour in the scouts because they started throwing jelly around and I just didn't know what was happening and I didn't want to take home extra washing for my mum so I walked out the scouts after one hour. I often wonder what would have happened if I stayed in the scouts. I probably would camp a lot less. <laughs> Got on a plane, landed in San Francisco and then I was picked up by a guy called Steve. Now my friend Mel, who's a world champion and Paralympian and recently broke the speed record on a hand cycle from John O'Groats to Land's End. No, Land's End to John O'Groats. She introduced me to Steve, who's kindly agreed to receive the recumbent bike, which is always a little bit of a worry, just having your, uh, your ride for the next journey shipping across to a complete stranger. But Steve's awesome. He met me at the airport and we, we kind of just chatted good old stories. He's done some amazing ultra runs in his time. And then Steve took me to his friend Chuck's house. Uh, Chuck's another ultra runner and Chuck was putting me up for the night, offered me a bed, and uh, there it was, these two boxes, and I know that inside these boxes is the bike that I'm gonna be riding 2,000 miles to Memphis on, so exciting. Well, I didn't know anything about Chuck, and he didn't answer the bell, so I, I kind of took a peek over his garden fence and saw two tortoises, and one of them was on its back. <laughs> it was properly random. <laughs> I love this stuff, staying at strangers' houses and pretty fast becoming friends with them but also those little things that you just can't predict like this guy has 15 tortoises and absolutely loves them wash them up and they'll shine their shells are beautiful when they're right after they're cleaned up so after a tortoise lesson we grabbed some dinner and rode the downtown streets of palo alto around the beautiful stanford university campus and then across to mountain view to check out the google campus or the google plex as it's called so after a while jet lag started to catch up and I needed to get some shut eye, but not before. Last duty of the evening, round up the tortoises. <laughs> Either they're all in the other one or they're... Found April? Yeah. That's April, you found yeah, April? found April. It has no pigment on the head, the head's white. Hey. All accounted for? All accounted for. 